Raiders. Being chased by Giddens. Giddens will get him. And he's thrown the pass back. And it's been taken beautifully by Mills. Mills is in the score. Great camper try. Back down there, their goal line. There's a replacement warming up, Steve Mills. Six foot four, 100 kilograms. He is a monster. I have the balance and the reach to pull it in. Mills on for Bellamy, Warren. So, Craig Bellamy leaving the field. Has worked pretty hard out there for the Raiders. And Mills, number 40, the man on top in that tackle there. Stain runs into Mills and he makes his second tackle. See the height of the man. Very tall player. Three tackles in a row to Steve Mills, so he's already made an impact. Also Mark Bell coming on too, going to the sideline. Bell walked backwards, the says it was okay. Wilkinson warming up for another. Yeah, I think Danny Staines might be the one to come off there, Arthur. Another bad kick. Mills had it, lost it. That was a terrible kick, that ball coming off Danny Staines there, actually. Just before half time, last tackle. O'Neill puts a kick ahead. Mills plucks it out of the air and takes off over the halfway line. He's got men inside. Didn't get the pass away. I don't think he looked early enough, Steve Mills. No, I think Steve Mills did the right thing because uh, he made a very, very good run there. But I think um, he couldn't really see his backup players. So he definitely took the right option. Darren Shaw, up to the valley's 22. Duncan. Bowen. Bowen claps on the pace, turns it inside. Craig Green out of a tackle. Looks for Sam Smith. And there's the try to West. Well, as Tom called it just a moment ago, Steve Mills didn't do anything silly on the first tackle. Rather than throw a risky pass inside, he held onto it. And just three tackles later, West have scored. Inside Brisbane Territory, it's been taken by the second rower, Stephen Mills. Mills was taken by Murphy and Sablu. Fisher plays it back. Pike, rather than right, the second rower, Mills. Gets it outside the danger zone for the Capitals. Marty McKenzie slips it. More enthusiasm. He wants them to use the corners. He wants to try and get down into those dark areas where they scored the last try. And up for the Queensland side, I haven't spoken to Ross O'Reilly yet, but there is a change. Steve Mills is on for Steel Retchless. Side in the second half. Conley. Up field from Jackson there from dummy half. He's made a good 10 to 15 metres again and caught the defence snapping. All right, Calvin Skerritt now. The new man on for Great Britain as Ian uh, Chapman called it. McGinty. I did some good solid hits out there tonight. There'll be a few sore boys tomorrow. That defence has been extremely good. Marty at dummy half, looking for a quick play of the ball. Back from Stephen McKennedy. And the crowd do get behind him. Groff sends it out to Hetherington. He runs across field. He links up with uh, one of his forwards running wide of the ruck. They're down to 12 men at the moment. On the last tackle, it goes to Mills. The wrap around with Bowen. He puts Smith in the gap. He gets it to Maguire. Maguire for the line. He's in for the try. And West hit the front. That brings the crowd to their feet. West hit the front. 12 points to 10. Good football. They moved it wide. Worked it to the overlap with a run around here by Bowen. He created the extra man coming around Mills. Gave it to Smith. Beautifully timed pass. Kerr had just come in off his wing that fraction and it allowed suburb tonight. He's a PE teacher. Actually, two years ago, he played with Canberra in the reserve grade. He rep Brisbane this year in the state league. A very devastating runner, likes to get out wide and will be a thorn in the side of the Tigers tonight. Duncan, he's had a good game today. His distribution's been good and he's been dangerous when he's elected to run the ball. Keen enough to take it on again and uh, play the ball forward. West now with a chance to move it out wide. Sure, he'll move the ball. There's Mills. That's where he likes to run. Away goes Steve Mills down the left-hand side. The uh, little halfback Green can't get to him. I don't think anyone will. Steve Mills, a great run down the uh, grandstand touchline. The crowd there going berserk as West, who have threatened 
so many times in the first half to get out on the fringes. Steve Mills has done it. It was a pass by the big front rower and Darren Shaw that ultimately put him away. But give credit also to that man there, Duncan, because it was he initially who took a good run, then played the ball forward, got the momentum going, and then Western Suburbs, keen to move the ball out wide. Darren Shaw there, fires that long ball, puts the big fellow Steve Mills just on the fringe. Street can't go with him. Robbie Cannon looks after his own winger. That's no good. He hasn't got the ball, Rob. Green comes across in cover defence. No chance getting this big, long, striding young bloke. Melba Hill, no chance either. Good try for the Panthers. Yes, great work here by the, the West players. But look at look at this pass from Darren Shaw to uh, Steve Mills. And Steve Mills just pins his ears, ears back here. And dead set reminds, reminds me of uh, Super Impose. But I'll tell you what, where did they catch uh, East Short again? Out on the on the edges. And uh, what that's a great try. Terrific effort that by Steve Mills. And he's elated. Paul Mulver Hill to kick off. They elect to go right this time. It's the first time they've kicked to the right-hand side of the field. Mills again. He's fired up and he's gone straight through. Steve Mills, they can't handle him. Can Mulverhill lay a hand on him? Yes, with the help of Robbie Cannon, brings him down. The Panthers on a roll. They've got it to 30 metres out from the uh, try line. Duncan's a play they've had and put another try on. Shaw struggles his way forward. 8-2, the Panthers lead. A minute and a half to go up to half-time. O'Reilly this time hangs on to it. But this, is, this is where the East Force, they've really got to dig deep here because uh, if uh, West 2 score a try just uh, with this, what, 30 seconds to go before half-time, and we see Craig Bowen, I think, and he score under the post. The Panthers are in. Craig Bowen with a very simple sleight of hand. He went across field, showed the ball back on the inside. The, Panth the uh, Tigers' defence just stood off. And uh, Craig Bowen said, well, if you're not going to tackle me, I'll keep running. And that's exactly what he did. They've really established a great lead here at halftime now. A good try, this one, from Craig Bowen. Goes back to the left-hand side after they brought it to the middle. Little dummy to Mills. And then that's a poor attempt to at tackle that one by Crosby. And uh, Bowen does it very easy. Cuts back on the inside, improves the position. John Green should have no trouble adding the extras. Well, oh, look, this uh, West Side, they're, they're looking like champions at the moment. But put this try down also to a great decoy run by Steve Mills and uh, Craig Bowen just did the rest. And uh... This one either picked up here by Craig Green. Fires it straight up to Mills, the rampaging second rower. And again, credit to Gary Grinke, uh, Tom, because he's obviously got him positioned there for those kicks. So when he gets a chance, he gets a real uh, head of steam up and he causes all sorts of problems for the Tigers' defence. But what impresses me about Steve Mil Mills is, is that he does his, uh, a lot of running out wide, but he's, he's not scared to go uh, and take the ball straight up in the ruck. We see him get the ball here again. And Mills this time. Can he offload? Yes, he does. Back on the inside to Craig Green. West putting plenty of pressure on. East don't seem to be moving up with any great deal of urgency. Duncan. Duncan goes for a field goal. What a kick. Let's go down now to Bernie Pramberg with the Lang Park Trust man of the match, Steve Mills. Well done, Steve. You led 14-2 at halftime, but you uh, took a while to capitalise. It wasn't until the 35th minute you scored a try, despite plenty of opportunities early. Yeah, we, we had a couple of opportunities, but we, weren't, we didn't panic when we did, they didn't come off. We knew if we just kept grafting away, sticking to our game pattern, then we'd get over the top of them. We expected them to be hard, and it was fairly hard for the first 20 minutes. But we grafted graft away, and we got there. He came out firing in the second half, a quick try, but you got a very heavy head knock, and uh, East then came back into the game, scoring two tries midway through the half. Did you feel that perhaps you relaxed a little? Well, I think we did relax a little bit, but that's an area of our game now that we know we've got to work on that little bit after half time. I guess we were lucky that we had a little bit of a buffer and the two tries, well, they, in effect, what they did was wake us up and made us get back to our, get our minds back on the job. So probably wasn't too bad a thing. You had a season away from football in 1991. Of course, the West side made the grand final only to lose to East. Uh, do you think that the experience they gained, the teammates around you in this particular side can go on and win the premiership? Well, I definitely think that the experience they gained last year through the semi-final campaign was invaluable. Well, I obviously wasn't involved with them last year, but. They're approaching it with a very professional attitude this year, and I really think that we're in with a very good chance this year. The experience they got was really invaluable. Thanks, Steve. You've got a week's uh, spell, and then good luck in the grand final. Thanks very much. We're certainly looking forward to a week's spell and a big grand final. Back the other way. Bowen with it again. They've got plenty of players. This is Mills. Starting to go. Got his pass outside. Cutting his way through. Over there is Smith. Smith coming up. Get it back inside. And here's the try for the winger in green. And that'll wrap it up, I'd 
say West going right off out there in the centre of field and why not they open up a big lead of 20 to 4. It'll be taken back there by the second rower in Shula, the captain of the west side. He in turn got it on to Mills. Mills put down 25 metres out from his own line. All right, let's go down to, uh, to centre field and here's Greg Dowling. Here with me, Steve Mills, one of the stars of the game. Steve, you start the match off slowly. A bit of complacency there? Oh, I don't think it was a bit of complacency. I think we were just a bit of a hot day. We just hadn't played a day game for about a month or more. And I think, you know, we were just taking it back by the heat. We went all right for about the first 10 and then it just hit us. And we, uh, it took us a while to get our second win. Yeah, your back certainly ran right. Was that the match plan to oh. put you outside and uh, let the backs do their job? Well, with, with the way their defence only plays short, moves up really quickly. Uh, if you get it wide and you get it out there quick, blokes like Sammy Smith and Graham Strutton just have a field day out there, and they did today. Just tell me one thing, mate. What's the future for Steve Mills? Oh, at this stage, mate, it's a, a bit of a party at the West Boys tonight, and then I'll see what happens after that. Yeah, so you should have a big one. Congratulations, Steve. Back to you, Alan. Up quickly on Green. He throws it wide. Mills has finally escaped. Here's an over now. Away it goes to Thorne. The big front rower sets his sails, and he's off and over. Picked up very smartly there. And they're only five metres out. Way back by Maguire, out and out of tanks. To Richless, plenty of men here. And over in the corner goes David Mills. David Mills scores for Wests. Well, they allowed that bomb to bounce east. In fact, both teams allowed it to bounce. And suddenly, as East went to try and regather the bouncing ball, they got a touch on it, it came back to West, they move it wide, Steve Mills gives it to his brother David Mills, really opens up in the second half as Neve darts away from dummy half, because it's a fairly warm day here and the pace is a cracker in this first half. Great defence, great attack, so try a bit of a free-for-all and throw the ball around or will they just be happy to go in at half-time? Here's Green giving a nice ball to Curry, it's Steve Mills down, looking out wide. Well tackled to the sideline. As the way goes, Maguire again. Across comes Davis and he makes the tackle. He wasn't into touch. It's play on. Sam Smith's got it. Davis is down. It wasn't to be. The crowd counting down the last five seconds. The siren goes. And West are the Premiers. Two years running. They've held out against an almighty comeback by East. And what a grand final. These two teams, all year long, have proven to be the top two, and they've played like it today. A great day. They underway again. Yes, Tony, that point you're making, the sliding defence, that once Lamb went back inside, they tried to change direction and come back in, and it was uh, Can who fell over. And here go West again already, finding some holes in. Lamb is handling beautifully. He's really got this back line moving. Bowen out to Mills. Over the halfway. Mills goes himself. Beats it. Couple of tackles. Back to Bowen. He will race away. Or will the fullback get to him? Davis sliding for the line. That's a fair try, I'd say. And referee Top is going to award it. And that was beautiful football. Sean Davis in desperate cover defence, trying to get across at fullback. What lead-up play from West. They are on fire. They lead eight points to nil. And Bowen, who started it, in combination with Lamb, a couple of lovely passes here to get it moving. Steve Mills, the threat out wide, fed the long pass. He had to wait a little for it, but he beats tackles here. This is where it really starts. The first man to make a mess of it was Travis Catchpole. That was a poor attempt at tackle. And look at Bowen stride out. He suffered from a few problems in the last... Uh, Lamb, they're short here, East. If West can get the ball wide, Mills is hunting out there again. He's cut through. Oh, he's having a whale of a game out there, Steve Mills. East defence is just allowing him far too much latitude. He decides to step Nielsen instead. He beats Cannon, so he's found open spaces anyway. Here he goes down the touchline. There's another missed tackle. Manns misses him as well. Brett Schultz making fools of it. He's cocked straight through. Now here's a chase for Davis. He makes the tackle. Steve Mills for the line. Peter Turner trying to hold him up. I think it's a fair try. The corner, corner flag has gone, but did he get it down? Yes. He's happy. Touch judge has a look at it. Brave effort from Peter Turner to try and hold the big Steve Mills back. This brilliant form. Here's Mills hunting out wide. He pushes away from one tackle. Very dangerous man. Steve Dowden was kept at arm's length by Mills and he got the pass away. Overwhelming performance. 
They've got good halves, Wes, good back line. This big guy here creating havoc every time he's ball. I mean, it's a perfect combination. You've got a great fullback and shorts. And uh, everywhere on the paddock, they look very, very strong. Brown restarts play. West's backs have scored 20 out of their 25 tries so far this season. So they like to play it wide. And here's one of the reasons Steve Mills may be a second rower, but he makes a lot of uh, damaging runs out wide. And the wingers out. A, a try would be what they would most like here. Vivian goes to the line. I think Valleys are going to be short on the left-hand side here. West are fully lined out. Slow play of the ball. Bowen. Mills. Mills is still going. He'll score from there. No. Yes, it's easy. Yes, he has got it down. Sorry, I thought he'd gone over the sideline. It looked as if it was uh, going to be an easy try for Steve Mills, and it was. 26 points to six now. The West kick to come. But Mills into open spaces here. Really, Bowen just getting this back line moving today. And Mills throws the dummy. Maybe a hit of a shepherd. And over he goes. Oh, it did make it. I don't know whether Sam Smith needed to go back inside. Rexless. Mills now. He stands like the Statue of Liberty. McKenna. Oh, Mills is after him. He's trying to get revenge and McKenna's down. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a great hit. It's a great hit. Big men. Big men having a collision. The Magpies in front, 10-8 for the first time in the match. About eight minutes into the second half. And Big Steve, Steve Mills. brings this kick back hard. Trying to put his side right on the front. Wood. And they taking the ball, Groff with it. Only about 35 metres out. Mills on the charge, where he is dangerous, but what a good tackle there. Chance to go on the attack. They lead by four points to North at the moment. Steve Mills gets crunched in a tackle by Bradley George, but there's another penalty coming to the Tigers for inside the 10. Yeah. Stephen Craig with a kickoff taken by Steve Mills in the end goal. A little slippery out there. You can see George as he went to uh, tackle Mills sliding up. Passes went nowhere. Just sideways. Scott Manns uses Bell on the left-hand side. Liston, little wrap around. This time, Steve Mills straight in the gap. He'll score in the corner. Little wraparound play, did it beautifully. I said a couple of moments ago, Steve Mills had been quiet. But when he fires up, he certainly does that. Nice little wraparound play here, this from the Tigers. Steve Mills into a gaping hole. This is where he does his best running and attacking football. Scott Manns pops the pass up. Bell juggles for a moment, fires it out to list. A little wraparound, beautifully on there to uh, Steve Mills. Orchard didn't read it at all too well. He was in no man's land. 28 metres out, so the Tigers on the roll. As Cesarago holds up the pass and gets a bit of to Mills. One-handed quick pass is there for Anderson. And away a try to the Tigers. Over goes Alan Glyde. Tigers, let's have another look as Cesarago gets to the defensive line. Delicately pops it up to Mills. He went into the gap nicely. The one-hander popped up to Anderson. They're the two fresh players. Then out to Alan Glyde. And he went low and hard. If he had try, it was Fowler who came in too close to Cesarago. Really didn't need to be in that close. And that allowed Mills to uh, have that little gap and uh, he well and truly capitalised on it. Now the Tigers to try and work it out of their own 20. And they've done that pretty simply there. Cesarago prepared to throw it back to Williams. Up there to Neil. Adventuresome play here from the Tigers as their confidence is, uh, is rising. David Smith in there. Scott Nielsen does like to get his hands free as well. Pops that one around the corner. Does it beautifully out to Luke Morris. Putting a pace here from Morris as well. Robbie Smith can't go with him. Yes, he can. Rob Smith, great work from the veteran halfback. Now he's to bring it back this way again. Williams fires it out there to Scott Manns. Here they come, Andrew Duncan decides to straighten it up. Out to Brendan Liston, out to Big Steve Mills. What a try! The Tigers have gone linked to the field in that passage of six. Luke Morris flashes down the right-hand side and then a beautiful backline play where all players did their job. Liston decided he had to go to the defensive line to take them on just one more time. And who bobs up on the air? outside but big Steve Mills. East's out but so far that defence has held and I'm sure they'd be pleased with that. Now they'll be looking for a chance to uh, oh, luck that's goes that's with that's you sometimes, doesn't right. it? That's exactly right, Jerry. This time the Clydesdales now to restart. Back to Lewis. Steve Mills now back on the field. Bump, bumps away from one but there's a bit of extra uh, attention there. McKellar was one of them to come out. Loose head and feed. 
and they'll, I'm sure, just uh, work it steadily. There's about eight minutes to go up to half time, seven or eight. Steve Mills gets it out over the 20 metre line, tries to break out of that uh, first tackle, ultimately brought to ground. In the uh, Magpies, I believe Cesarago is also uh, an accountant. He's the captain of the Tigers. Mills enjoying himself out wide, breaks that first tackle. Steve Mills strides out, fires it out to Peter Turner. He juggles, he's lost it backwards, I felt. Mills lurking right out on the very far side of the field. Duran throws the dummy on the inside. There's the pass up to McPherson. McPherson pops it up to Yateman. Yateman out to Travis Baker. Fancy on the feet. There's Mills. Out to Peter Turner. Turner in the corner. Very good. Very dam damaging in that area. Aaron Durant, the pass out there to McPherson. McPherson pops it up to big Steve Mills. He goes straight through. Looks back on the inside. Looks outside. Finally back on the inside. Peach. Ten on his own side of halfway. Now from McPherson to Steve Mills, trying to get out wide, running at the little player, Dean Wally, then was able to get a good pass over the top to pick up Peter Turner. Turner getting down the touchline, Rhodes coming at Turner, can't get him. In fact, he'll go all the way and score right in the corner, Peter Turner. So good try for East. They go to an early lead of four points to nil, and it really came from big Steve Mills, getting out wide and running at some of the little inside backs from Norts, particularly Dean Wally. Yeah, he did well, uh, Mills, to get that hand free. It's a characteristic he's got. They've tried to uh, hit the fringes of the rucks all day. Mills gets a hand free and fires it right out to Turner. He's been a top try scorer in Brisbane over the last few years, although he did get injured last year, and he's a real flyer. Takes on the fullback in Michael Rose, little in and away. That well, man, it's going to be difficult for them, and uh, you just wondered, Doug Evans there a moment ago, how do you have sent it wide, whether or not they might have scored? Mills. It doesn't matter because Steve Mills has gone over and puts it down underneath the goalpost. Pressure must eventually tell, and the Gold Coast having to tackle and tackle and tackle, and one man short. And from that set piece, as David said earlier, the scrum provides a chance for the attacking team. It did there. Uh, there you see McPherson holds up the pass. Mills is charging onto it. And there was no way anybody was going to stop that big man with momentum up. And so he goes over and puts it down for the try. Get the Seagulls. So East will be looking to really make sure they control play here. David Smith and Steve Mills. All he needs to do is to take the ball up and accept the tackle. No fan. Play it down this end if they want to win this game. Well, we have looked a better team for most of the match. And here goes big Steve Mills. He's fired up across his own 20 metres. But it was only the, de the defence that dislodged it. Beautiful build-up to create an opportunity and good vision from McPherson to find the man in space. Redcliffe yet to put a point on the board they're far from out of this game it's early days it's a grand final 16 minutes to go up to half time they trail by 12 points nil they do see you later simple searches across i thought the pass on the outside would have been better mills comes back on the inside and bumps out of one or two mill is uh, pretty crook after that big the last moment he tried to kick it out of the way but uh, unfortunately for Redcliffe, the ball just touched forward. And while it looked like a try, it ruled correctly a knock on so that the tight long kick downfield. Grant Cleo. Redcliffe now with a sniff. They've been out of touch. They were